Hello everyone, I just want to quickly show you guys around my new setup for my collection of orchids. I recently moved from the west coast to Florida about two months ago and I quickly, well, I couldn't live with my without my orchids, so <laughs> I quickly um, figured out a way to basically keep a collection or a smaller collection of orchids while I'm here in Florida. Um, I also brought a few other plants, but um, I just basically wanted to show you around and show you guys around um, what I have come up with. So basically, you know, I, I before you know, starting this journey of buying or you know, re buying orchids or bringing some orchids from California from my previous collection. I while well, did a little research and just trying to figure it out what would be the best setup, you know, for an indoor um, place since I'm just moving into an apartment versus before that I have a whole yard. So, and I had a, a smaller greenhouse um, there. So it's, it's, it's a little bit of, um, of a change, but I, I've seen other people using um, those Ikea's um, shelves uh, and turning them into basically a greenhouse. So I wanted something similar. However, um, I didn't know, I just wanted to, you know, like, um, fun options and see what would be possible within my space and I ended up um, basically finding this base I, it's an en enclosure it's basically let me see if I can take a an outer shot so you guys can see the whole piece it's um the dimensions are I think 24 by 18 by 36 inches. So this is an amphibian or actually a chameleon enclosure. It's basically for reptiles. Um, I found it on Marketplace on Facebook um, as I was doing research and looking for a better deal. Obviously this is a secondhand um, enclosure. As you can see, this is a combination. There, there are multiple um, varieties of this or versions of this. There's there's some that come with, it's all screened, but this is a combination of both glass, as you can see, um, and it's in a metal mesh. And that's obviously that side panel, it's all metal mesh, as well as this other side panel, it's all metal mesh. And I think originally the top of it was also metal match, but um, the person who had it, or the previous owner said that they, I don't know, it came out without, so I had to figure it out, something for the top. Um, and I basically went to, um, but, but a plexiglass and a plexiglass panel that luckily was um, 18 by 24 so basically just it's just placed on top of it it's not seal or anything which is totally fine and um what I did to I did try it having it fully open but obviously the humidity on the enclosure wouldn't stay for long so what I came up with was using contact paper like heavy duty contact paper on the sides and basically sealed most of the panel but as you can see I left a little gap over here I have left previously a larger gap but you know like um, trial and error situation I, I decided that it was best to just leave um, a smaller gap on this side on the top for air circulation and then on the other side as you can see what I did basically left a smaller gap right here so I could um this is a little 
crafty, but <laughs> I'll fix it some other time. Um, basically to pull all the cables from the light um, and the humidifier that I have inside and I will show you shortly, but also to leave a little air. So my idea was that, so the air, fresh air will come in, pour down and get out that way, or that's in theory. I don't know if it works that way, but I wish I could be <laughs> inside of there. And sometimes I stick my head in there to see if there's, um, to test the flow of the air. But I, I, I mean, orchids have been there for almost a month now and they seem pretty happy. Um, so yeah, that's about the enclosure. As you can see this, what I like about this here is that it comes with a little lock so you can actually lock it up in there or if you need to, whenever you need to access your plants, you just unlock it over here. You have the doors and you can fully work on, on accessing your orchids. And yeah, I really like it. Another thing about that like I enjoy about this enclosure, and I will, that's the brand, if you wanna look it up and find something similar, I think they come, there's a version for like different dimensions and stuff like that. But um, yeah, this one it's, I think, 18 by 24 by 36 inches, which work great for the type of orchids I keep, which is mostly miniature. However, I do have a few plants here that um, have the potential to grow at least a couple feet. And that will, you know, this still give me enough space. I just need to be mindful not to overdo it and keep my collection as um as mother it or it's just i think everyone needs you know like <laughs> if you collect orchids you probably try to fit more orchids than you can possibly in your space you know like that's the saying how many more orchids can it fit in this enclosure but i'm trying to be more mindful of the of the space i have to work with at the moment and i feel like eventually the plants will start growing some of them most of them are miniature plants but some of them as you will see are definitely have the potential to become quite larger so i have kept that in mind and not to go not to overdo it with the quantity and just i try to pick plants or orchids that are really interesting to me and and i can pour all my attention and love into those plants so moving forward uh, how I came up with the conditions. So try to keep the conditions about the humidity, lighting, and wind circulation or air circulation. So as you can see, let's start with the lighting. This lighting, it's an LED light by, let me see if I can find the brand. I think the brand it's F-E-I-T. And it's a 13.5 watts LED light. What I like about this light is that, um, well, it's turned on and off. And as you can see, it has, you can set up a blue light, uh, a red light, and a white full spectrum light. But you can also turn all of them three at the same time, which is, the way I keep it and what I like about it is that I have it connected to a timer and basically yeah that's basically it I attached it to this plexiglass um, panel that I got I just drill a few hip, um, holes on the panel and attach them with a zip tie as you can see here and it's pretty sturdy in there. Um, it throws a little bit of heat, which I like. Even though I'm in Florida and I don't need to keep my orchids, um, I don't need to have a warming. Um, and I don't need to warm up the enclosure as well because temperatures here fluctuate anywhere from the low six or 60s through the 90s, so throughout the year, so I don't have to worry about Temperature regulation, most of these plants can endure lower temperatures, or at least most of them. Um, but yeah, 
So this is the light. I really enjoy it very much. Um, I have no complaints. Um, yeah, it's pretty compact. It's just I'm use, using one lamp and um, it has the ability to connect more lamps right there, as you can see, if I needed to. But for now, it's, you know, as I said, plan seems to be doing pretty well. Pretty happy with this amount of light. I Right now it's um, December. Know what I'm saying? It's November, so kind of starting of the winter, and basically I keep my timer for 14 hours a day. Um, expecting to up that up to 16 in the summer or spring summer time, but for now, like 14 hours, it's fairly enough of light. As you can see, everything seems pretty happy. So I have some dendrobiums that are fully deciduous and they are just doing their thing. I keep them in rest, but lighting wise, they, they are pretty content. Um, for the humidity factor, I got this humidifier here. It's the brand, it's Air Innovations. And if you cannot believe it, Neither did I. I. I got this on a Goodwill store for fourteen dollars. Great, great find. Um, it had a humidity stand, um, a built-in humidity stand, which is great. I don't know if I can. Um, it has all the functions. Like I control the humidity level here, the amount of mist, so it gets very misty if i wanted it but i usually keep it on the second setup i keep it in between 75 70 and 75 i play with that uh if i'm at home at night i try to lower it a little bit but if i'm not at home or i'm traveling which happens often i try to keep it around 75 just to keep enough humidity into the enclosure i have noticed it that with um, keeping these gaps in between here and after installing the fans, um, the, the enclosure can hold humidity. You know, it goes up up to 82 humidity and then once it goes below 73, it kicks back again and it will hold that humidity for about 15 minutes, which is great because it also adds some fresh air, like fresh circulation of of the air that the humidifier produces itself um and yeah and it's wonderful fine i think it's like five liter um container which it's great because i have tested it for for this whole month and i haven't i've just refilled this thing twice i think no it's been more it's been uh, like a month and a half and i will refill it twice I went on a trip for eight days and I felt the whole, I, f I filled the whole tank with it. And when I came back, it was just down to here. And it hit, you know, like it goes from here all the way up. You can fill it up. And you only, like in eight days, you only use about this amount of water, which is great. I, it's like very low maintenance. I use water from the refrigerate um you know refrigerator filtered water so somehow less hard water i may be wrong but it's it, it works great i don't have a lot of like residues on, on the or slightly less residue in the whole system of the humidifier and well that is that it works super great i'm pretty happy with it um it does yes occupy some amount of the uh, enclosure itself but i feel like the fact that he has a humidifier um, or, or a humidistat a built-in humidistat it's such a great um it's it, it's a great i i'd rather have that than an outside you know um humidifier and having to install that system to measure the humidity inside and then, or produce, or you know, like having one of those um, products that 
control the humidity so this is even though i'm i'm compromising a little bit of the space within the enclosure it, it just offers me a lot for what from what my needs are and the needs of my orchids are so i'm pretty happy with it uh, yeah that's what i'm working with so for ventilation i do bought this two little fans that are um cpu um i think there are 80 millimeters fans this one it's a dual um a dual unit so let me show you let me close the stores here to keep humidity um there are dual unit that are attached by this regulator and basically ha it comes with with speed that's on high and you can see how the air right there gets a little chaotic i usually turn it on high after watering the plants you know like just to keep the humidity like i mean keep the the air flowing for a longer time so the plants get to dry off a little faster i just um i haven't noticed too much um difference in the humidity after i water but i usually keep it just in a low in the low setting or low speed and it works great it truly really, as you can see it pushes the the air enough and distributes the humidity thrown by or the mist thrown by the humidifier fairly well throughout the enclosure and another measure i use it's um you know the plants or i use this um that air plant, the Spanish moss, is a, a indicator of how much wind it's flowing throughout the enclosure. So as you can see, a lot of plants, I have hang some of Spanish moss on it. And that would just, only that, not only looks pretty, you know, I think it adds a little bit more into experience of being like in a little young, jungle, but also it helps me to visually uh, visualize or as a visual, um, it helped me visualize the, the, the air movement throughout the enclosure. So I think that's what I use it mostly. Um, I thinking, you know, like most of the plants are slightly moving, which is great. And I think it should be enough. I might, I've been thinking about putting both of the fans inside of the enclosure, but I'm, I'm not, I'm just testing it for for a couple more months um let's see but so far they they seem pretty happy uh, i haven't noticed any like extreme buildup or smells you know like from um i noticed the the substrate of all the potted orchids in the bottom they dry um fairly well you know they don't remain wet for too long and i haven't noticed any like weird strange smell so which is in my understanding a good that the enclosure it's receiving proper airflow um but if anything if i start noticing some weird stuff well then i have the other fan right here which right now this i usually i mean i think there this can be used to cool off um smaller electronic appliances so right now i have it facing towards the led light so it's it gets lightly it throws a little bit of warmth through the plexiglass um panel so i have it down there and it's just it keeps it very cold you know it does its job like that but if in case i need it i may actually just put it on this other side and have like a cross ventilation situation but as in right now it's with just the one fan it's just working great um what else i can say oh uh, so this white panel as you can see in the background that i use for hanging out the mounted orchids this is basically an uh this i got a 12 pack um I think these are called egg crates, you know, the, the, they're used in aquariums to um, like a division in aquariums. And I got these um, in on Amazon, I think. 
Um, these are pretty easy um, to mount. You see they come up, they have this little teeth that you can clap, you can, um, not clap, what am I talking about? You can uh, clip, you know? They look kind of impossible to attach to because, let me see, the space look, the space that you click them on are kind of fairly small, but believe me, they do clip. And I will show you how easy it is. You just have to put your a little bit of weight into it and they will definitely do it. And um, they're pretty sturdy. And what I like is like this is, it's not fully wide. You know, I wanted something that it was practical yet not super distracting. Um, it can easily be detached. It just takes a little force. A little. So yeah, I use. Uh, they were luckily the same. They they fit a lot of it. Um, they fit pretty well. I didn't have to cut any of them. They're just full panels attached. I use four for the background and two, and the side. If I wanted a little bit more space, I can cut them and fill up this other gap, fill up the gap on the on the on the top if I wanted to. But as I say, I'm not trying to get too crazy <laughs> with the amount of orchids that I'm keeping here in Florida. I'm just trying to be humble and just uh, yeah, just just I, I picked plants as I mentioned earlier that are satisfying to me to see growing and it's not about quantities if not about quality and yeah so i um so you can see yeah, these are egg crates from or like aquarium dividers from amazon like you can get them on black white this one i think it was the white type but it just came out to be more of that kind of clear translucent um, type of plastic. I tie them up. Um, well, I clip them, and then on the corners, I use. I don't know if you can see. I use some zip ties right there in the corner to attach the back panel and the side panels. And the side panels, since they have a little match, I just use a little bit of um, fishing um, line to attach them to that mesh to the enclosure. There's a little, I mean, it's a little tight in the space. It's fairly, and I have this kind of um, trying to hold it in there, but it does what it does. It comes attached, comes undone. You probably see it popping. <laughs> I have one of those suction um, thingies in the back, trying to keep it flush, but you know what? It, it's not a big deal. Uh, so when it comes to the plants, Oh, I got this little, I don't know how you call this, but I, I got this at Home Depot. It's like a little plastic thing just to keep a little space from the bottom of the, from of the enclosure and just gave a, the plants a little bit more air um, under, the, under the roots or under the containers on their end. And I think it works great. Um, what else? This... Oh, another thing about this enclosure, this actually holds water up to, as you can see, you can you can fill it up to water and it's water um, sealed. So you can basically have water up to here um, because I guess if you have a, what it's meant for it, it's, it's for like to keeping an, um, reptiles and you want to do like waterfall or whatever setup you want to do for that, but I guess you know, so whenever I, I spray in the morning, you know, like a little mist, I'm, I don't have to worry about having water damage on this furniture or anything like that because this is water resistant. You know, it's like a little aquarium in the bottom. So I can freely, you know, spray out here after I water my plants. I can, I, I tend to let them drip um, before I put them in here, but if they drip, I don't, I don't sweat it you know it's it's, it's gonna be totally fine um so yeah i just wanted to share a little bit of that with you guys and my setup um i will do another video uh just to show you around my plans let me close this up here um 
can see. Let me close this up here, and then um, yeah, I will. I will, guys. I will see you guys in another video. Just show you my my collection of miniature orchids and some of my no miniatures. This is a Philonopsis. It's been in bloom very nicely. Um, and some of my other plants. But um, yeah, thank you so much. And if you like, enjoy this video. Just I guess like it and subscribe it. <laughs> thank you so much. Until next time.